Hi. Oh, it's working. Is it working? It's working. Great. Hi there, it's Emma. I'm coming at you from the Christchurch store. I've been here today with some new starters. We've had a good day with Shirley and Sammy, who you will get to meet over time. And I wanted to go through with you today um, the version 20. Hi, Caroline. Um, yeah, the version 27, uh, 37 box. So we've got some in store. The um, website, I've got them as well. You've got them in the stores over the weekend also. And I just wanted to top you up on what's in them this time. So I will show you now. Okay, so. shopping in store over this weekend don't forget to let the teams know if you happen to um, share those or if you happen to um, leave us a review on Google because they'll be able to give you a little bit extra off so make sure you mention that whilst you're in store all right so these are 27.99 boxes and Usually you would be seeing the selection packs with um, 24 chicken well, these are, or 24 minces. Well these have got 18 minces in because we've added in bones and treats instead this time. So feedback on that is obviously welcome. Um, we're giving it a go otherwise we'll go back to 24s and do another special box. So this, these are the treats that are in this one. These are the dried sprats. Everyone knows these, I think, but they're really um, popular. People love them. Dogs love them. Really good quality sprats as well. Nice, decent size. Much better than some that you've seen. So they're good size. Dried sprats, 150 grams. We've got a turkey net in here. So I don't know if you can see how huge that is. That's a whopper, isn't it? So if you've got a smaller dog, you could cut this down into maybe three meals. But this is a turkey neck, this would suit. Um, this is a bony but meaty meal. So all your bones need to be nice and meaty like this. And they can eat this as, as a whole meal or part of a meal, depending on the size of your dog. If you've got a smaller dog, you can cut this into three or two pieces. Um, if you've got a sort of standard sized dog where this would be their whole meal, they could just have this for the day and then they maybe have a little something for tea. But Or if this is larger than a normal meal, you can still give it whole, just cut down their food another day. That's all. So we've got one of those in there and then we've also got um, lamb ribs as well. So these are the lamb ribs. Again, good size, suitable for um, so what you want to look for for when you're you might actually Neo, yeah. So Neo wants to know if he uh, a turkey neck all in one. Quite probably. I would feed a German Shepherd one of these for a meal um, and then maybe cut back on what else he's having in that day. So I'm going to weigh this. It is 685 grams. So I'd imagine that a German Shepherd could have that. I mean, your standard golden retriever would be having around about 700 grams a day ish. So a large, decent, so I would say German Shepherd would have that and then maybe a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? So yeah, those are the turkey necks. They're on the website and they're still on offer at the moment. So that's in the box. And then we've got the lamb rib in the box as well. So good size, not as heavy. Right, this one here. grams so a nice thing to add in as part of a meal great yeah we'd love to see you over the weekend if you can come in neo um so yeah that would be added in as part of a meal a uh, part of a, of a daily allowance for a larger dog smaller dogs you could feed this like you would do the turkey necks without chopping them up you could feed this whole oh no you're allergic to lamb well it's okay because we've got these amazing turkey necks so you can have that one and then we've got boxes, the rest of the box has got minces in. Um, so we've got chicken and turkey heart. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I can see the level of, um, the, here, the good chunks of meat in our minces. It's not skimped on. We 
do include lots of good stuff in our mints. I know it's a bit frosty, but you can see the coloration on there. And you can see it's definitely got not just chicken, you've definitely got something else going on in there. So you've got the chicken and turkey hearts. You should have six of those. Chicken and chicken liver. So the chicken liver will have no more really than 10% liver in a pack. And again, it's a bit darker. Can you see it's a bit darker than normal? So you know that it's definitely got extra stuff in it, not just the chicken. And you've also got six chicken. So there should be a sort of a colour comparison in the two. When I put them next to each other, you can see that this this one here, that's got the liver in. It's a slightly darker colour because it has got the liver in and you can actually see it in there. But there's no more than 10% liver in that, so you won't be overdoing it. If you get more than 10% liver, then you might find out that it gets a bit runny. All right, so we just want to make sure that we level out the right amounts of liver or offals in your diet. No more than 10%. I say no more than 5% liver, honestly. It, you know, we do, we haven't had a problem really. So, so we've got 10, um, up to 10% liver in the packet, but no more than that. And the, the production team weigh all of the products out so you can be assured that we're not putting too much in. Everything is weighed out in each batch. As we make it, it's weighed out, so you know that you're getting the right stuff in the boxes. So yeah, that's it. So I'm really pleased with the turkey heart. It looks amazing, the chicken and turkey heart. And going on to those, we've got some in store. People are asking for more 100% minces. We've got some 100% turkey. We've got 100% venison. We've got 100% um, salmon. Um, let me see if I can open the freezer and get some of those out so you can have a look at them. So, maybe. Right. That's the turkey. You can get that online and you can get that in the stores. So that's 100% turkey, it should be 500 grams in. in a, it's, a, it's a bit more sausage shaped than some of the. I know that they put this through when it was quite cold in the machine. So, that's 100% turkey. Fish mixes, can't really see it so well because it's in the packet, but this is 100% mint sprats. So you can mix this in with other mints. You could put this in with the turkey if you want to avoid chicken, put it in with venison um, or pheasant. So you can bring the oily fish in or you can feed it as a whole sprat. So we've got the whole sprats too. So that is mint sprats. And when they're not mint, are a kilo of sprats so again you can get these online so that's what the sprats look like when they're not minced and when they have been minced they look like this so it's a little bit darker because you've got all the meat on the outside rather than on the inside and you'll see that the silvery bits in the packet when we've got a mince with the chicken and the, and the oily fish the chicken and the sprats you can see the little silvery flakes of the fish scale so you know it's definitely got the fish in there so we use the whole fish we don't put bits of fish or fish heads in, we use the whole stuff so you get the right bits that you're asking for and that you want. So that's the brats and we've also got, the other one I mentioned was the venison, 100% venison and 100% pheasant. So these are both Dorset and they're both wild. So the venison is a bone free mint. You should be able to find that on the website and they'll have it in the store. That's the venison. It is more expensive. It's venison, it's Dorset, it's wild. It's got a little bit of offal in there as well, but it's majority of that is the meat. So that's a bone-free meat mince of venison. And then that one is the pheasant, which looks... It's not quite as dark as the venison. It's quite hard to show you on screen like this. Um, so that's the combination, that's the venison, and that one is the um, pheasant, and that's got bone in, it's the whole pheasant, so the whole pheasant carcass, including the breast and all the meat, and there's a small amount of liver will be on there, that's all on, so the only thing that's missing is the head, the feet and the feathers, 
and the guts because they do gut them so that's a really nice whole mix that's the pheasant and that's the venison so you don't you know we've got lots of options for you if you're not looking to feed just chicken but we use chicken as a base um, because it's a wholly appropriate meal for a dog a dog could easily easily go out and catch a kill and eat a, a chicken so it is an appropriate meal i know a lot of people say that their pets are maybe allergic to it so we do have alternatives to, to cater for you so we've got things like the turkey but if they're allergic to chicken they're quite often allergic to any grain fed bird anyway um, because it's the grain that they're actually allergic to rather than the actual bird in particular so those are they and we've got something new in store no, I dropped you. Sorry about that. I got a bit over zealous with the freezer. Sorry, Instagram, I dropped you. Facebook's okay. Turkey hearts. I'm going to get those so you can see how big they are. store today so does anyone <laughs> so everyone's got a sore head on insta on the instagram so drop you on the freezer so this one here is a bit bigger than the others and it's a whole heart so can anyone guess what that that one there is that one is quite big it's about the same size as the palm of my hand have a look that one there and that's a whole heart and that is um, a good thing that you can add to food if you've got a gulper a dog that's a gulper yeah Paige has got it so Paige has guessed it's a lamb heart yep yeah, that's a lamb heart so yeah Tanya's got it as well so those are lamb hearts chop it up when you feed it um, if you've got a dog that gulps food they'd quite happily swallow that whole so you can chop that up and add it, um, pop it into a Kong potentially, that sort of thing, always good. And then this one here, the lady buy some of these today because she hasn't seen them for ages. It gives it away, it does say it on there. These are the chicken hearts. So these are 400 grams worth of chicken hearts. Excellent for cats, excellent for adding taurine into your animal's diet. Um, and taurine is essential for cats an essential amino acid that if they don't have then they won't survive so heart is an excellent muscle meat which is where you find taurine so that's why it's so dark it's a muscle meat so that one there is the chicken I'm just trying to get the frost off of here so we've got a one that's in between the two sizes and that is this one here and these are our turkey hearts we've got five in a pack and you can find those online also and they're in the shop so We've got turkey, and you can see quite, they're good size, they're not diddly, I can't get any more than five in a pack. If, you, if I put my hand there for reference, it's about half the size, maybe slightly smaller than a lamb heart. So that is a really good, nice thing. You can, we get those stuffed in a carcass, they're quite nice. You could chop them up and add them to your dog's food, you can put them in whole if they're not a gulper. Got, that's the difference in size, can you see that? I'm just put it on the screen. So those turkey, chicken, and lamb. It's a good size comparison for you there. So yeah, it's not much. I mean, they are smaller than a lamb heart, obviously, because it's the lamb and that's a turkey. But they're a good size. So if you're looking for something a bit bigger, then they, um, you know, and they're really meaty. Obviously, it's a heart all muscle no bone in there so really good for touring and all of these would be suitable for cats as well so you could chop these up and put them in your cat's food and they look great yeah thank you tanya they look lovely so um really good with the pleased with the quality we don't skimp on quality we don't really deal with people that are on a race to the bottom we we make sure that the products that we get in are good quality and and we want to be able to grow a um a trade with those people so we know who we get these from and they have access to more they've got a decent supply chain 
because it's, it's really frustrating for us when you get things in like rabbits and you can get five or something a week and that's it because it's just not available we need to make sure that we can supply you continuously and consistently so we're working on all of that as much as we can so I know um, Luke has guessed that maybe those are human hearts so I think Luke maybe they might be about the same size but no that's a lamb heart So, um, we are open, obviously, over the weekend. It's a bank holiday, but that doesn't stop us. We will be here. Um, our Westmall store and our Upton store won't be open on Monday, but the rest of them are. So we've got Christchurch. Yes, your dogs love the lamb hearts. I know, they're really, I don't know, I'm not. They're quite a traditional meat, aren't they? And dogs love them. So we are open here at Christchurch all weekend. So tomorrow we're open from 10, we're open from 10 till 5, Sunday we're open 10 till 4, and Monday we're open 10 till 4 at Christchurch. So we're open all bank holiday weekend. And just so you know, for the coronation day on the 6th of May, we're going to be open as well. So we're not closing for that, but you know, we'll keep our teams updated and if they want to watch, you know, it's fine. So we've got um, our Westmore store is open tomorrow, and that's open from 9 till 5. And, our, um, and it's not open on Sunday and it's uh, not open on Bank Holiday Monday so Westmores won't be open but just up the road from there is Pamp Hill at Wimborne and that's going to be open for the three days over the Bank Holiday weekend so um, Saturday it's open 9 till 5, Sunday 10 till 4 and then we've got Monday 10 till 4 so we do Bank Holiday opening hours on uh, Bank Holiday Monday um, or Sunday opening hours basically and then we've got Upton so Upton shop will be open tomorrow and that's open from 10 till 1 so it's just open in the morning tomorrow it's quite busy in that time period but at least it's there so that's located at our, off, um, at our factory so it's a smaller shop but we've got everything on site so we can get all the products I've talked about tonight there for you they've got the version 37 selection packs available as well so if you've got anything that you want to see just ask in store if you can't see it in store someone will be able to find it for you or if not they can show you online where it might be if it's something that you want and it's not there so that's it really over the weekend obviously we're open we'd love to see you i'll be popping into pamp hill at some point tomorrow um so do if you're around come along and say hi that'll be lovely and also bluebells so bluebells are out now um pamp hill is a bit of a mecca for those people with their cameras and uh, bluebell and loving the bluebells so if you happen to go up there i hope you have a great time and get some lovely photos with all the bluebells because it looks stunning now and they've really done a better job of conserving it so there's certain areas you can't go but you can still see them you can still get some nice pictures with the right angle so pop up to pamp hill grab a coffee go around the bluebells and get your raw food on the way home so thanks for joining me today and for all your comments and for joining in that's really i really appreciate that if you've got any questions or anything drop us a line on the end of the video comment on there and we can always pick it up for you another time if there's something you want me to talk about then we can go over it absolutely fine so have a nice weekend enjoy the extra day with the bank holiday for those of you who get it off and i hope that um everybody enjoys the weekend and doesn't get too sore ahead after the bank holiday and then don't forget we are open next saturday for when the coronation date so we are still going to stay open so just so you know that it's not everyone wants to watch that so thank you very much for joining me enjoy the weekend thank you